Welcome, brother. We have been blessed. The bees are buzzing and the birds are chirping, Mr. Clay. And what they're telling me is that those Dixon motherfuckers are ducking down in the back of rundown shotgun shacks trying to sell off more of their guns. Where it is, Dixie's in need of money. Could have something to do with their partnership with the Southern Union. Make their stash ours, and we'll hit them where they hurt. These are perfect for home defense. <laughs>
come on in. How are things? Seeing big things out there on the streets. And it's all because of these guns right here. This part of town's run by a man named Tony D'Orazio. From what I was able to piece together, he's a real fucking weirdo. Some kind of savant when it comes to numbers. Then he must be the one who runs Lou Marcano's books. Runs his books, launders his money. Hell, he even manages Lou's relationships with city officials. It's Tony's job to make sure their asses stay greased. How do I get to him? Well, that's where things get interesting. Tony lives in the penthouse on the top floor of the Royal Hotel. Elevator access is restricted, and the rest of the hotel is crawling with Tony's goons. Well, he can't stay up there all the time. I'm gonna need a schedule for when he comes and goes. I've been watching this cocksucker for a month now, and he's left exactly one time. That was because one of his men fucked up. He took a pipe to the poor bastard's left arm. Well, it looks like he's got a front business he uses to issue bribes and launder lose money. And another one that soaks up funds from the city. I hit him. He overreacts. Then I get my opening. And fuck up things between him and Lou in the process. Be careful with this one. Just because Tony's a goddamn spastic doesn't mean he won't cut your balls off if given the chance. Really? Shrimp. What you call me? I Shrimp. have a subscription. Well... Wow.